بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Dream Made Easy This is your brother Abu Muhammad Today's lesson we're going to start a new topic which is the مخارج الحروف the articulation points of letters We'll find out four things today Number one the definitions of مخارج الحروف Number two how to pinpoint a مخرج of a letter Number three a summary of what مخارج الحروف is And number four the last point, we're going to start one or the first of the five areas of Makhari al-Huruf, which is Al-Jawf. We'll find out what Al-Jawf, where, where, where is this area, how many letters, how many points inside this, how many Makhraj points inside this area. And also, we're going to look at some of the common mistakes that people might fall, in, that people fall into, so we avoid them. As for Makhari al-Huruf, Makhari is a plural of the word Makhraj. Makhraj, linguistically, means exit. If you live in an Arab country, Above the door of malls and schools and offices, you find the word makhraj, which means exit, come out. This is the linguistic meaning. As for applied meaning, which is, me, which is in the Quran context, the Tajweed context, it means where the letters come out from. Okay, the areas, that, the place, specific places where the areas come out from. The word huruf is a proof of the word harf, which means letters. A letter is just a, a sound that relies on a specific makhraj, specific point. So the sound relies on us which relies on a specific point the 28 letters in the Arabic language now how to pinpoint a makhraj of a letter there are two ways number one put a sukun on that letter and previous to that put a hamza with fatakas and dhamma so a e u then put a sukun on that letter say for example if we want to find out what the makhraj point of meme is we'll put a then meme sa sakina so meme with a sukun um the way the sound stops that's where the makhraj is so if i say um, the um, once you stop, um, mm, this is the makhraj point of a meme. So we find out if I say um, or im, or um, the makhraj point of a meme is when the two lips touch together lightly. Um, or im, or um, the one, when, when the sound stops, that's where makhraj is. So the two lips touch together. Or, can, or that's the first way. The f second way, push it down the letter. So um, or um, me, or um, this is the second way of finding out a makhraj of a letter. So there will be ab, ib, or ub. If I say ab, where the sound stops, ab, ab, where it stops, that's where the makhraj point of, of the bias. So we find out that it's similar to meme, when the two lips touch there, but, but a bit more compressed, ab. Whereas meme will be am, ba, ab, a bit more compressed. Now we just found out that two letters can have one makhraj point. Two letters, two different letters, they can, they can come out from the same area. Now, now we're going to do the summary of Makharij al-Huruf. This is just a summary. And then after that, we're going to take each area in more detail. Number one, we have here, uh, yes, we have here five different areas. So this is the head. So this is the head. So all the Makharij point comes from the head. Now in the head, there are five different areas where the 28 letters can come out from. Number one, which is Al-Jawf. Al-Jawf just means the empty space between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. This whole empty space going down. From here to here, when we're stretching any swaw and yeah, not the actual letters, the actual letters, they're not, they're not pronounced from there, but the stretching of alif, waw, and yeah, the huruf al mad, this is where, where the point, articulation point is. There's no specific area, this is a, there's no specific point. This is a whole area, the whole area, and the makhraj at the same time of alif, waw, and yeah, when we're stre stretching them. So this is one makhraj point. We'll, we'll, we'll find out more in detail, inshallah. In, in today's lesson, we're going to do the Al-Jawf. We'll find out more detail, inshallah. Number two, uh, Al-Khayshum, which is the nasal passage. The sound that comes from the nostrils here going downwards. Noon and Mim. It's impossible to pronounce Noon and Mim without having a natural sound that comes from the nose. So if I say, Amma yatasal, Amma, Amma, see that nasal sound? That is impossible to say, to, to, to uh, say Noon or Mim without that sound. So two letters. One makhraj point. Then we have al-shafatan, the two lips here. Two lips here, the four letters. Okay, four letters and two makhraj point. One makhraj for fa, specific place to say fa, and a specific place to say wow, mim, and ba. So these three, they share one point. This, this letter, it, shares, it, it, it doesn't share uh, with any letter, so it has a specific point. 
These three, they have one, one point. We have here al lisan the tongue. This is uh, most of the letters, 18 letters of the Arabic alphabets, they come from the, the tongue. We find out what letters are, which letters come off at the back of the tongue, middle of the tongue, side of the tongue, tip of the tongue, and so on. We have here al halq which means the throat. The three different makhraj points for six, for six different letters. So in summary, this is what al huruf Now we're going to look at the first makhraj, which is the first the first area, so there are five areas. So number one, al jawf number two, al khayshum al shafatan al lisan and uh, al hal So this empty part, there's the nasal passage, there's two lips or the tongue and the throat. And inside these five areas, there's 17 different specific points of makhraj. So one plus two plus ten plus three plus one is 17 points. So from the 28 Arabic uh, uh, letters in from the 28 letters in the Arabic language, there's 17 different areas where the letters come, can come out from. 17 different points in five different areas. So we have here on the board Al Jawf, which is the first of the five areas where the letters, 28 letters, they come out from. So Al Jawf, this is just the empty part of the throat from here going downwards. This is two things. One is a whole area, it's an area, and secondly, it's a point, one makhraj point. So this whole area, it doesn't rely on a specific point. So the makhraj point, just one makhraj point, which doesn't rely on a specific point of the area. So this whole area is a makhraj point at the same time, al jawf So the empty part of the throat and the mouth. al jawf is only when we're stretching the alif, waw, and ya. So alif, waw, and ya, only when we're stretching it. So this doesn't mean the alif comes from, from there. No, alif or the hamza comes from the throat. If you, if you say a, e, o, you find that hamza comes from the throat. We're talking about the stretching of alif when the previous letter has a fatha, or the stretching of ya when the previous letter has a kasra, or the stretching of wa when the previous letter has a has a dhamma. For example, iyaka, iyaka. When I stretch the iya, the ya part, this is the makhraj point of that stretching is this empty part of the throat. If I say ar rahim, ar rahim, the heem part. The makhraj point is the empty part of the throat and ya'malun, ya'malun, the stretching part of the wall is the empty part of the throat. The important note here, so three letters when we're stretching the huruf al-mad, this is where the makhraj point is a whole area and a makhraj point at the same time. An important note is that some of the common mistakes that people make is that they put a nasal nasalization sound for other than the meme. They should not, there should be no nasalization sound other than meme, only meme and noon have a natural, natural sound, natural sound that comes from the nose. So if we're stretching, for example, iyaka, and if we produce a nasalization sound, then we're not doing it properly. So if I say iyaka, for example, iyaka, iyaka, there's no nasalization sound. If I say iyaka, 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 then I'm producing a nasalization sound when I'm stretching it. So this is a, this is a common mistake, in fact. So we have to remove this. Ar-Rahim, 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 no Ar-Rahim, Bismillah rahman rahim and so on. Or Ya'maloon, Ya'maloon, Ya'maloon is making a sound. How do you fix this problem? Then we practice with Fatha Kasran Dhamma. We say A, uh, so if you say A, uh, then stop, A, uh, uh, touch your nose and, f and, and, and hear nasalization sound. If you can hear nasalization, nasalization sound, then we're not doing it properly. If you can't hear it, then you, we're, you're, you're doing it, we're, we're doing it properly. So if I say a, uh, for example, a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, no nasalization. If I say a, uh, a, uh, then I'm doing it, so I need to practice. If I say e, 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 if I say e, e, I'm doing a sound. If I say o, 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 if I say O, O, this is doing a sound. So we practice this by doing Fatha Kasadamma, A, E, O. Once we're able to do it without a sound, then try it with words that have that, that have uh, words that have that letter. For Iyaka and Alif, this word, it's got, a, it's got an Alif meant, and previous to that is Fatha. So we try Iyaka, 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 and not Iyaka, and Ar Rahim, try it, Ar Rahim. And Ya'maloon. So today, we looked at four things. Number one, the definition. We looked at four things. Number one, the definitions of Bakharij al Huruf. Number two, how to pinpoint a Makhrajita, the two ways. Number three, an overall a summary of Makharij al Huruf is. 
And number four, we looked at the first part, the first area of the five areas of makhraj makhraj al-huruf, which is al-jawf. We found out that this is the empty part of the throat, yeah, when we're stretching alif, waw, and ya. Yeah. And we should avoid a ghunna in a nasalization sound when we're stretching the letters other than meme and nun. Inshallah, in the next lesson, we're going to do two more makhraj, two more areas, which is the al-shafatan and al-khayshum, the lips and the nasal passage. Until then, jazakum khairan, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.